Hi guys and thanks for watching again. Today I will be demonstrating a simple laser tripwire which I made using this Raspberry Pi Zero. I use the Raspberry Pi Zero but of course any Raspberry Pi version will do fine. To create the laser tripwire I attached a laser diode and a laser receiver to the Raspberry Pi. I ordered both modules from eBay of course and this is the laser receiver. Let's see if I can get it in focus. There it is. This one is actually a little dent, but this is all. And this is the laser diode. It's just a simple diode on board with a resistor. It, uh, yeah, it's a very cheap diode, <laughs> but for this project it works perfectly. Um, I pointed the laser at the laser receiver and I almost uh, also attached this hideous purple LED uh, to the Raspberry Pi Zero uh, to one of the uh, GPIO ports and a 15 ohm uh, resistor of course and of course this Raspberry Pi Zero has the Ethernet module connected and because the Raspberry Pi Zero comes without an Ethernet connection. So uh, yeah and the Raspberry Pi Zero is just powered by this power bank which I made in a previous video. Uh, it's drawing currently 300 milliamps and connecting this Ethernet module to the Raspberry Pi Zero is another video. So um, let me first demonstrate that this is actually working uh, as soon as I put my hand between uh, 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 the, the receiver and the diode, this LED should go out, right? No, that is not the case because this laser receiver is just a normal light sensor. Uh, but it is sold as a laser receiver on eBay, but okay. So when I shield it a bit, little bit from the lights at my desk, which are currently at full brightness, You'll see that it works. So let me dim the lights a little bit. Now it should work as intended. There we go. The LED will go out as soon as I put my fingers between the laser beam. So that's it. Uh, yeah, you can use it for all kinds of purposes, of course. Um, and when you're going to use this in a real project, you should probably build a, a black box around the laser diode to protect it from, from lights so that only the laser beam can enter. Um, and to make this work, this setup, um, I made a little Python program and I will explain the program, but I'm going to need to switch to my PC screen. So I'll be back in a moment. This is the Python program I wrote. It's very simple, uh, but let me explain it uh, in a little detail. Um, at first I'm going to import uh, the GPIO library and the time library, which I need over here. Um, then I'm going to set up the uh, GPIO library so that it uses the board numbers uh, for the uh, DuPont uh, connectors. It's easier for me so that I just know where to put each pin instead of having to look up uh, the uh, wiring pi or GPIO numbers. It's just the pin numbers uh, when I put this on board mode. Way easier. Um, so I used the pin 11 for the LED and I used the pin 7 for the sensor. So and I'm going to set up the uh, LED pin over here. I'm just going to set it as an output pin. I'm um, going to do that of course for the sensor pin uh, the same, but I'll come back to that in a moment. Uh, this is the function I defined um, uh, and here is the try catch loop, um, try accept. Uh, I'm, I'm a PHP programmer by trade so uh, <laughs> don't uh, <laughs> don't blame if, if me if I use any PHP uh, language things when dip explaining this Python program. Um, so I made this uh, while true loop, uh, which uh, just calls the laser detector uh, function I made. Um, 
here I'm going to set the light variable uh, to zero. Uh, it just, uh, it just, how to, how to say that? It's uh, to to measure to see if if the light is uh, the, the the state has been changed. Uh, I'll come to back to that when I'm over here. Um, like I said, first set up the output pin, the, the sensor pin as an output pin. Set it to low so that there's absolute no voltage left. Uh, wait a little bit and then set it up as an input pin. Then go in the second uh, true loop, while true loop, eternal loop, um, and then see if the input pin, the the sensor pin, goes to low or, or actually not goes low, is low. Um, as soon as it, as it is low, uh, I'm going to check the the, in, the internal variable I, I defined over here to see if it is already low. Uh, if it's already low, just continue, uh, which means go back to here and enter the loop again. But if this is not low, if this is uh, one, uh, which is defined over here, then continue and just pr print once on the output, no laser detected. Set the let to low. So it switches off and then set the internal variable to zero. Um, and actually when the input pin, the sensor pin goes to high, we come over into this else statement. Check again if the LED was already lit, then continue and go back to here. And then print once, laser detected, set the LED to high, which means it will light and then set the light to one to and make sure not every time uh, we enter this this loop the output pin is being set and this text is being printed on the screen so it's only it's only printed as soon as it changes um, yeah and that's actually all there is to the to this program just just to try a uh, try accept <laughs> uh, thingy over here uh, to to catch the uh, control C and um, and then clean up the uh, GPIO library, but but that that's all there is to it. So yeah, you can use it for for many occasions. Of course, you can also uh, put an alarm to it. So you uh, then you have to, to switch it around, of course, because now I uh, uh, turn the light on uh, as soon as it finds a laser and turn it off uh, and when it does not. But you, as, as soon as the laser is interrupted uh, in normal situation, you mean that means that the door is opening or some somebody is entering a room or anything uh, depends on how you installed your laser tripwire, and then you need to do something. So um, that means something has to be done over here. Uh, uh, no, I'm saying it wrong now. <laughs> here, because when there's no more laser detected, the laser is interrupted. So uh, you can trip an alarm or send an SMS, or email message. Uh, you, you think it? Uh, switch an, a relay board, which are also available very cheap on eBay. You name it. Uh, it can be done with Python. So that's it. Uh, this is. Uh, my video of a laser tripwire. Uh, thanks for watching.